Да, этот. О. А где снаряд тут денежки? По запчастям уже. Все, пусканул. А, вот он, все. Да. Вот так вот, пацан. Так, а с машиной что там, дедушка? Ну, стекло. Надо было волосеть и стеклы. Шипит что-то. Раз. Машина он, короче. Тоже я. я. Капец он, короче, вообще жесть. И задняя тоже. Обита сильно. Газ, короче, жесткий газ. Вот я все побит, я тоже тут. Так как это не у нас вон, он там шипит. Он где-то на той трубе. А это газ -то. Он где-то на этой. А он бои ведутся у пацанов. Ну как ты целуешься? It became known that the Freedom of Russia Legion, Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion entered the Kursk and Belgorod regions of the Russian Federation as part of a joint operation. As reported by Russian opposition leader Ilya Ponomarev, the border town of Lozovorodka in the Belgorod region is completely under the control of the Liberation Forces. Representative of the Main Intelligence Directorate of Ukraine Andrei Yusov, in a commentary to Channel 24, commented on the entry of The Freedom of Russia Legion, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion into Russian territory, the Legion Freedom of Russia, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion on the territory of the Russian Federation act as independent units, since they consist of citizens of the Russian Federation. They, after all, are at home, Yusov noted. Ukrainian army destroyed the third Russian A-50 military reconnaissance aircraft this year. New satellite images confirmed the hit of Ukrainian drones on the building of an aircraft repair plant in Taganrog. Ukrainian dialogue media outlet reported this. There is no A-50 aircraft near the buildings of the Bereve aircraft plant in the published pictures. The plant fell under attack by Ukrainian drones on the night of March the 9th in Taganrog. It was standing next to the plant nine days before. OSINT researchers found that the blow fell on the hangar where aircraft in maintenance are usually placed. Most likely the target was the A-50. Russian propagandists started talking about restarting production of this type recently, he wrote. Researchers of the OSINT project Frontelligence Insight believe 
that at the time of the impact, this aircraft could have been in the plant's building. Visible damage to the building on the satellites is enough to damage the aircraft being repaired inside the Enterprise. Satellite images confirmed the hit of Ukrainian drones on the building of an aircraft repair plant in Taganrog, which became the main target of a massive strike on the Rostov region last Saturday night. Geospatial analysis of the images was conducted by the Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight. They compared the pictures of the plant from February the 29th and March the 8th and March the 9th. In the picture dated February the 29th, published by the investigative project Schemes of the Ukrainian Service of Radio Liberty, four aircraft stood next to the hangar for repair, one of which was the A-50. On March the 8th and 9th, three aircraft remained on the site of the plant and the A-50 was not among them. It is unclear if it was in the building at the time of the attack. For intelligence insight, analysts wrote, Comparative analysis of the images revealed traces of fire on the roof of the final assembly workshop where the A-50 was allegedly repaired, for intelligence insight researchers reported. Explosions occurred near the entrance of the building according to the analysis. Analysis of satellite images shows that at least one S-300-400 system was at the airfield during the attack. If it does not serve as a bait, this indicates the ability of the Ukrainian UAV to overcome Russian air defense systems even in the immediate vicinity of strategic facilities. If the A-50 was indeed damaged as a result of the attack on Taganrog, then this is the third aircraft of this class that has been disabled by the Ukrainian military since the beginning of the year. In January and February, the Ukrainian forces shot down two A-50U aircraft over the Sea of Azov.